Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're going to be talking about your modem and how to find out what your modem's make and model is. The assumption in this scenario is that you don't have your owner's manual for your modem because that will tell you pretty plainly what that information is. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two different ways to determine what your modems make and model number is. We're going to be taking a look at the sticker on the modem itself and in the scenario that your modem either doesn't have a sticker or it doesn't list that information clearly on the sticker, you can also log into the modem settings and find out your make and model number that way. So let's take a look at these two options and find out more information. All right, as I teased in the beginning of the video, the first thing to do, or the first and most common method to try is to look at the sticker on your modem to see if it lists the make and model information on it. So here we have our modem. The sticker in most cases will be on the bottom of the modem, but let's take a closer look at what information is on there. Okay, this is the sticker on the bottom of my modem. In most cases, this is where you will find the sticker on your device. And it's pretty clear here that your make and model information is right here on the sticker. It's a Netgear modem, a Netgear cable modem to be exact, and the model number is CM600. So that's pretty straightforward there. That's our make and model number. All right, as you can see, if you look at the sticker on your modem, it's pretty straightforward to find the make and model number. Just another quick tip, if you're not sure which piece of information is which, which item is the manufacturer and which one is the model number, you'll very often find the manufacturer listed somewhere else on the device in pretty clear information. You'll find the manufacturer information as opposed to the model number. That's just what you'll find is that these manufacturers list their brand names on the devices elsewhere. So that's how you know that this is the manufacturer. The other number on the sticker is the model number. All right, so let's dive into our other option here. Let's say you look at the sticker on your modem and you either don't have a sticker on your modem or it doesn't list the make and model information clearly. The next option is to log into the modem settings and you can find that information in there. The key here is you need to know where to go to log into the, your modem settings. If you know the IP address of your modem, it's pretty straightforward. I'll run through that example in my case. Another thing you can do is let's say, let's take another look at the sticker on the modem itself and the IP address or the settings location is usually listed on the sticker there as well. So let's take a look at that. All right, we're back looking at the sticker on my modem. Let's pretend that this information isn't there. The make and model number, let's say that that's not included on the sticker. Another thing that you will see here, default access, this information this is the IP address for your modem settings. So this is where you need to go in order to log into your modem. Another important thing to look at is the username and password. This is the default login information to your modem settings. If you haven't changed the password or the username to log into the device. These are the settings that when you first buy the modem, this is how you access the settings. I strongly advise that once you log into your modem, if these are your current login settings, that you 
change them to something else and something that only you know, that will make your device a lot more secure. But for now, let's use this information, 192.168.100.1. Let's use that information to log into our modem. Before we dive into my modem settings and log into my modem, another scenario I want to cover is what if that information, what if the settings IP address information is not on the sticker on the modem? The next thing I would do, this is a little bit of a brute force method, but I would again, I would look at the manufacturer of the device and I would simply Google common IP address of Netgear modems in this scenario. You'll find that a lot of times for manufacturers, regardless of the model of the modem, they will have the same IP address for their settings. In my case, once again, it's 192.168.100.1. For Netgear modems, a lot of their modems have settings or, or you can access their settings at that IP address. So that's another option if it's not listed on the sticker. But in most cases, that information will be front and center on the sticker along with the default username and password. All right, so let's log into my modem now and check out its settings. And we'll find out what our make and model number is. The first thing that we have to do is we have to open an internet browser and in our internet browser we want to enter the IP address for our modem settings. As we saw on the bottom of my modem on the sticker, the IP address of my modem is http 192.168.100.1 so we're going to go there it's going to prompt us for our login information. As we saw, if you haven't changed your username and password before, that information was listed on the sticker on my modem as well. In my case, I changed it to unique credentials, which is what everybody should change it to for security purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information now. All right. Now that we're logged into my modem, it's pretty clear right up here. It says Netgear and then CM600. Netgear is my device's manufacturer. CM600 is the model number. So that's just about it, folks. Those are the two main methods for finding your modem's make and model number. Once again, in the vast majority of cases, you can just look at the sticker on the device if, that, if you have the owner's manual for your modem, it'll list it right there. Those are the two easiest methods. In a more rare scenario, if you have to log into your modem settings, you now know how to do that. I'll also provide a link to a post down below that I've, I've written on this same topic in this same situation. It gives a little bit more detailed information, so you might find that useful. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.